Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we worked with the PHP files to translate the register blade, the name, email, password and confirm password. And if I open the VS code, in we have the long directory, we published that and inside we have the end directory for the English. And in the auth file I created the login and the register key which has an array with name, email, password and confirm password confirmation. And then in the resources views out register blade we defined the keys for example out.register.name and so on. So we used the first approach or we have also the second approach which is the translation strings may be defined with an uh, JSON files. And also if I scroll down here, so defining translation strings using the short keys, which mean that we created with uh, PHP files, or we have the second one which is using translation strings as a keys, which mean uh, this is going to be a string as a key in the JSON file and then we translate this which means for example if I go in the login we have labels for the email and we can use this email as a string and we can translate that. Now for as you can see here for application with a large number of translatable strings defining every string with a short key can become confusing when referencing the keys in your views. For this reason, Laravel also provides support for defining translation strings using the default translation of the string as the key. And the language files that use translation strings as keys are stored as JSON files in the lang directory. For example, if your application has a Spanish translation, you should create a lang in the lang directory, the es.json file. And it's going to look something like this. Now I'm going to create here the in the lang directory a new file and I'm going to name it en for the English dot json. Hit enter. And here is the example to let copy this and paste it here. But instead of I love programming, I'm going to say, for example, in the login we have this string email. And I will, I want to translate this, which means if I come here and go to the login page, just let's create this. If I save this and refresh, yeah, we have email here. But because we just created and with without the JSON, we had that error. But if I say email here, like this, and email here also, let's save. We have the same thing, nothing changed, but if I change the email in here now, let's say test for example, and save and refresh. Now we, as you can see, we have the email test because in the login, we have this value and we use the helper function underscore underscore. And this email is going to see in the JSON files in the en JSON file for the key which is email and and display the value. Now uh, here we have also the password and the remember me. So let's do that. Let's say password and I'm going to say also password test here and the remember me And this is going to be a remember me like this. And let's save, come here and refresh. Now we have password test, but the remember me is not updated. And that's because if we go here to the login and go to the remember me, and we have a span here with uh, translation underscore underscore, but here we have remember lowercase me. Okay, but we added uppercase me 
and this is a difference. So if I say lowercase me now and save, come here and refresh, yeah, and now we have remember me test. So we need to write the same as we have in the en file, also in the blade files. Okay, remember that. And also if uh, I create here a new file in the en directory, so in here I'm going to create the, for example, the email.php and here I'm going first to add the PHP and let's say return an array. And just let's add a name here, let's say test, and I'm going to close this. Right now, if I come here and refresh, nothing is going to change. But what happened if I go to the login and when we have the email here, instead of the capital E, I'm going to say lowercase. Save. Now, this is going to look first for the file with this name, email. I'm going to take a look to this one, okay? If I come here and refresh now, yeah, we are going to have the error. The argument string must be of type string, but array given because we is going to look for this file and this is going to return an array. If we change back to the uppercase email, everything works as expected. If you worked with the JSON and with uh, PHP files and for example you have the string and also the file with that name you you may have an error. Now uh, I recommend to use either the PHP files or uh, JSON file. Now this is up to you what you like. Now when we use uh, PHP files uh, we can have multi-level nested keys so for example out PHP and then I register a register key here and then we have a name key. Instead in the JSON we can have only the one JSON file with all the keys we need for the application. In with a PHP files so we can have a identical keys in different files. So for example in the out we can have password or login or register name in the email the same thing we can have a name here and email so we can have identical keys in different files and we can use them where we want so with a json we can write full sentences as a keys and later have them translated now uh, here when we use a JSON, for example, this email is going to be email test in every file when where we add email as a string, okay? Take in mind, if you use PHP files, as I said, for example, here we can say house.name and it's going to be, and let's just show you if I save in the out, now let's add one more here, one key, let's say name and this key is, is going to be name or out name, I'm going to say just uh, C out name and also in the email I'm going to do the same thing, we have a name here and I'm going to say name like this and it's going to be out uh, email name. And now if I see in the browser, so refresh, we have out name and why we have this? Yeah, because we added uppercase. So we need a lowercase. Now we have out name as you can see. But if we want, we can use the email name and here we need lowercase and change from out 
the email dot name and now we have email name okay so with uh, php files we can have different meaning for name in different files okay that's it all about this video friends i hope you enjoy and see you in the next video all the best and don't forget to subscribe to my channel share with your friends like this video because it's going to help me to rank on youtube see you in the next one friends all the best